Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you what's in my art bag and I get lots of questions on like hey what do you use and so I'm getting ready to go to Florida. By the time you watch this I will be in Florida and I thought what a great time to show you what I use on the go. I just packed this bag to get ready to go down there and this is what I usually use. This is what I take to cafes and stuff with me and I hope this is helpful for you. So the first thing is the outside. This is my art bag. I never buy my bags. I usually get them for free and they're usually makeup bags actually. So like if I order from Clinique or something they always include like a free makeup bag and I'm like hey Let's use this for art. So this is the inside. By the way, I'm going to link everything down below because I hope it like helps you guys and you can figure out like how to build your art bag and yeah. Alrighty, so I always put like a few Copic multi liners in here because sometimes I feel like doing illustrations and this is great for outlines. So I just have a couple of these in here. Next are my markers, which it's really hard to pick out just a couple markers to take on the go. But what I did was I mostly picked skin tones because that is what I draw. I draw people usually. So most of these are skin tones and I just put my Winsor Newton markers in here. Sometimes I do Copics. I'm not really picky about like what markers I use. I mean, I'm on the go. It doesn't really matter too much to me. So I've got my skin tones and then I like to draw a lot of like plants in nature. So I do like pinks, purples, lots of pastel colors because I'm a soft colored kind of person. And then I don't have this shade in like any other marker except this Tombow marker but I love this green shade for plants, so I'm always taking this with me. I'm surprised it's not out of ink yet, but it's got a nice brush nib, so I use this. Um, if I had this in like another kind of marker, I'd probably take that. Not a big deal. Next, I usually do like gouache and watercolor on the go, so like markers are usually, it depends on what my mood is, I guess. But I use these the most. This is the most used thing in my bag. You can tell because like look how dirty some of these are. And I just bought replacements which is like this is a newer one. I think this is newer. But these are Pentel Aquash pens and what they do is they hold your water. So like you do not need to take a paint cup. <laughs> that was from yesterday. And what you do is you just dip this brush tip into your paint and you squeeze the nib or the barrel back here and it feeds water into your paint. Makes it a lot less messy and easy to do things on the go. I love it. I also have a random brush pen. This is great for like calligraphy but it's just a gold one and I don't know why. I just never take it out of here. <laughs> I don't even use it that much to be honest. Next, I have a couple pencils. So this is just a Faber-Castell 0.5 mechanical drawing pencil. I just got this from my sister-in-law and I didn't even know they made these, but I really love it. I use it like more than this one now, which these, as you guys probably have seen in previous videos, are like my go-to art pencil, which they're not even really art pencils, but I love them. So I always carry those. Next, I always have a lot of like random ballpoint pens and they're really fun for just doing art. You don't need the most expensive stuff, you can just use whatever. So, Paper Mate Ink Joy pen, an Acro Ball, and I don't even know what this is, it's just a random one. Next, I, I do a lot of my sketching with red pencils and the reason for that is because like if I were to go over it with marker it would just kind of like disappear into the paper. Same with like paints, gouache and stuff. Um, I don't know it just seems to work for me. So I have this Fabriano one and you can see that it's like a triangular 
pencil and it's got blue on one end, red on the other. I love it. Super thick and easy to work with. Next, these ones are probably my favorite ones, but they're the Stabilo pencils. Same exact concept, red on one end, blue on the other. I feel like this one disappears into like whatever I'm using the best and just like kind of blends in. I'm not like a huge fan of outlines with my marker stuff, so that's why I like these. This is a Prismacolor color erase pencil and it's also in red because what do you know, I like to use the red ones and you can erase with it, so that's why I like it. I also really like to use these colored pencils to sketch with. These are mechanical drawing pencils. Um, kind of like the same concept as this, but basically it's in mechanical pencil form and you never have to sharpen it. So I've actually been using these more often. So they're called the Pilot Color Eno pencils. It's 0.7 lead. They're really pretty and I love them. I use the red one the most. You probably see it in like tons of my videos. But yeah, they're all really nice and they're really fun to use. So I like it. I think I lost the, the end for this one. But yeah, they all have erasers, which is super nice. And there's like little caps on them. So I take them with me. Next, I like to do white highlights on a lot of my stuff, so I use different pens. I'm trying to decide, whoopsies, I'm trying to decide which one I like the best, so I just go back and forth, but this is a jelly roller, and I don't know if you can see that, but it says jelly roller. I'll link it below. I really like that one, but I found this one randomly one day, and it's a Pentel hybrid gel pen and you also probably can't see that because it's probably not focusing but anyway I really like it so yeah I always carry a small paintbrush on me too just you know in case like I don't know little details I never actually use it though and then I have these pens and there's this one I got this when I was in Italy. I don't know if they have it in the United States, but I don't even know what it says or where it's from. It's probably from the same place as these ones, though. Um, I can link them down below if you want, but this one is great for Inktober. It explodes all over me a lot, but I finally learned how to use it last night, so I'm taking it on vacation with me because I like it now. And I love this one, so yeah. Anyway, it's got like a brush nib, and it's got like this pointy one, similar to this one, which also has like a nib like that, and a bigger one. So that's what's in my art bag, but along with my art bag, look how cute the inside is, ladybugs. Along with my art bag, I always bring this, and it doesn't really fit in here very well. I mean, it could if I would just like stop carrying so much stuff. But this is like my gouache and watercolor palette. You can tell it looks disgusting right now because this is just how it always is. I have no excuse. But yeah, so I have watercolor on this side and gouache on this side and it folds up small enough that huh, the gouache always does this. It like crumbles, but you get used to it and you deal with it. I have been dealing with this for years. But I usually just like close it, snap it shut, and slide it into my purse, and I never have issues even though that gouache is shaking around in there. I just put my little gra like gouache crumbs back in their little wells, and I use it. Anyway, this is like the most used thing along with these. This is like my go-to, and I usually use a moleskin watercolor sketchbook with these. But right now I'm using a Crescent Render sketchbook and that's like working out. So yeah, pretty happy. Hopefully this helped you guys figure out like how you want to build your art bag or I don't know. Let me know what's in your art bag or if you carry one, how you do yours, what you like to use. I always think this is so fun and I watch these videos from other people a lot because I'm a really nosy person. Just being real with you. 
Anyway, let me know what you think down below. And if you're new to the art family, feel free to subscribe and join us here. It's a fun place to be. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye guys.